Hey, welcome back. We are continuing from where we have left at part one, and this is part two of the knowledge check. Please pause after reading the question if you want to test your knowledge before I reveal the answer. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Question number eleven. Within your organization, all your users have Microsoft 365 Cloud identities. Which identity model should you use? The options are hybrid, cloud only, and on-premises only. Since all your users have Microsoft 365 Cloud identities, the answer is cloud only. When all your users have cloud identities, you should use the cloud only model. Question number twelve: You have developed an app and want users to be able to sign in with their Facebook, Google, or Twitter credentials. What type of authentication will you use? The options are service principal authentication, Azure AD B two C, and user assigned identities. The correct answer is Azure AD B two C. Azure AD Business to Customer allows external users to log in with their preferred social media account to sign into your application, such as Facebook, Google, or Twitter. Question number thirteen: After hearing of a security breach at a competitor, you want to improve identity security within your organization. What should you implement immediately to provide the greatest protection to user identities the options are multi factor authentication require biometrics for all sign in require strong passwords for all identities the correct answer is multi factor authentication or mfa multi factor authentication dramatically improves the security of an identity Let us look into question number fourteen. To improve identity security within your organization, you want to implement Windows Hello for Business. When explaining the benefits of Windows Hello for Business to your colleagues, which of the following is true? Let's look at the options. Windows Hello is an authentication feature built into Windows Server twenty twelve R two six. Windows Hello is an alternative to multi-factor authentication. Windows Hello for Business is more secure because it uses pins and biometric data to authenticate users. The correct answer is Windows Hello for Business is more secure because it uses pins and biometric data to authenticate users, and this does not transmit data to an external server. Let us look into question number fifteen. You have been asked to find ways to reduce IT cost without compromising security. Which feature should you consider implementing? The options are self-service password reset, biometric sign-in on all devices, Pido two. The correct answer is self-service password reset. self service password reset or sspr allows users to change or reset their own passwords thereby reducing the cost of providing administrators and help desk personnel question number 16 you have been asked to consider the feasibility of implementing conditional access for your organization what must you do to implement conditional access Let's look at the options first. Create policies that enforce organizational rules. Check that all users have multi-factor authentication enabled. Amend your apps to allow conditional access. The correct answer is create policies that enforce organizational rules. Conditional access is implemented using policies that enforce organizational rules. Question number seventeen: Sign-in risk is a signal used by conditional access policies to decide whether to grant or deny access. What is sign-in risk? The options are: the probability that the device is owned by the identity owner, 
the probability that the authentication request is authorized by the identity owner, the probability that the user is authorized to view data from a particular application. The correct answer is the probability that the authentication request is authorized by the identity owner. Question number 18. You have been asked to review Azure AD roles assigned to users to improve organizational security. Which of the following should you implement? The options are remove all global admin roles assigned to users, create custom roles, and replace global admin roles with specific Azure AD roles. The correct answer is replace global admin roles with specific Azure AD roles. By following the least privileged security model and assigning specific admin roles such as billing administrator or user administrator to more users instead of global admin roles, you can improve organizational security. Question number 19. Your organization has recently merged with a competitor, nearly doubling the number of employees. You urgently need to implement an access lifecycle system that won't add a significant amount of work for your IT administrators. Which Azure AD feature should you implement? The options are dynamic groups, conditional access policies, Azure AD terms of use. Correct answer is dynamic groups. Dynamic groups use attribute based rules to determine who is a member of a group, thereby reducing the administrative overhead of adding and removing users. Let's look at the last question on this episode. Question number 20. Your organization is project oriented with employees often working on more than one project at a time. Which solution is best suited to managing user access to your organization's resources? The options are Azure Terms of Use, Dynamic Groups, Entitlement Management. The correct answer is Entitlement Management. Entitlement management is well suited to handling project-based access needs. Entitlement management automates access requests, access assignments, reviews, and expiration of bundle of resources relevant to a project. All right, so that's the end of part two of the five-part knowledge check episodes. In the next episode, we will go through the part three of the knowledge check. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.